Hello, I'm Frankie. And I'm Rachel. And welcome back to the next part of our Doki Doki Let's Play. Uh, quick warning. Someone's stuffing their face with cheese and grapes, so sorry if you're here. I'm hungry, but I'll try and chew as quietly as I can. <laughs> now, in the last one, we got a crazy ending. And it was just like, what? And we were confused. But we recently looked at uh, one of some of the community, community guides on Steam and we saw that there's a way to get like a wholesome ending, like the, the happy ending. And the way to get that was the exact way we did it. Like, we had the right idea with deleting Monica, but you were supposed to view everyone's CGs, like their special little uh, things, before you see Sayori commit suicide. Yeah. And then... So that's what this one's going to be. We're going to try our best in getting that and recreating that, and we're going to show you how to do it as well, just in case uh, maybe some of you, you know, someone might be wanting to know and how they do it. And how we did it was first you had to uh, change, like you you know how it says on un like reinstall the game. You don't have to do that. All you have to do is go into the game files, uh, like in your browse local files, go into the game. Go into the game, and in here there will be a like first run or something along the lines of that, like you know first run or whatever. I can't remember what it said exactly, but you know it's uh, straightforward to the point. You delete that file, and um, I looked at the characters, and I did a verify integrity of game cache to get the characters back, which is this here, verify integrity of the game files. And then it brought all the characters back. And now we're about to start playing it. And now the game should think that this is our first time running. So it should fix it. So it shouldn't be broken anymore. Ah, see? Previous save file has been found. Would you like to delete your save down and start over? Yeah. And you're going to want to say yes. Yes. Delete it. Oh. And make that full screen. <coughs> Here we go. Yes. So, we're going to try and get the wholesome ending. Now, how do we do that? Well, it's going to involve a lot of skipping because we've already read all this shit. Man, oh, depressing. Ah, oh, it's all normal again. Yes. So, we're going to have a uh, skip unseen text on so we can actually skip. I don't like that because uh, I might accidentally, you know, you might accidentally skip over. It's quite loud and turned down a bit. Okay, that's better. So we're gonna start a new game. Enter our name. We're Akio. We're always Akio. And Akio is gonna save all these girls. So what we need to do is we're going to skip. For all of this. Because we've already read this, we already know what's going on. So will it, will it stop on its own when it gets to the point or not? It will stop, stop on it. Well, what we need to do first is get. I'm just going to quickly save it here. Is we need to um, get all of Sayori's screens first. So if I just click skip, it should go quicker. And we basically need to pick everything that makes Sayori happy. So, Sayori likes bittersweet stuff. So, incapable, I guess? No. What, fit, what did we pick for her the first times we did it? I don't remember. I don't remember. But she likes bittersweet. What's bittersweet? Hope? Ah, okay, she liked hope. Melancholy? No. Fuck. Fucking this up so far. Oops. Is there not a, like a list somewhere? Of there words? is a list, but I don't want to do it. Meager? Fuck off. Hopeless. She likes hopeless. She likes emo stuff, apparently. Pain? Ah, pain. She doesn't like. She likes bad stuff. Uh. But Yuri likes some of them as well. Breathe? Oh fuck. Misery. Virgo? Oh fuck off Yuri. Depression. Tears. 
think so. Graveyard? I right, we're, we're getting too, you know what? We're getting too, uh, That's too, that's too many of you everyone. Yeah. Um, what I'll do is, oh, here we go, there's a guide here for writing poems. So Sayori, she likes all of these. So adventure, amazing, bed, bliss, broken, oh man, I can't bother to re remember all these shit. You want to take a picture of that with your phones and then you could just like pick out words? Frozen. Come on. I think about the time you got on your phone, mate. Yeah, I know. It's just stuck. Anything. Hope. Sorry, sorry. Uh, hope wasn't there. Why Forgive. Not? Is your phone working yet? No. Does she feel like sadness? Yes. Sadness. Does she like shame? She likes yes. shame. She like alone. She must like alone, surely. No? These are alphabetical order, aren't they? Yeah. All right, what about cage? She like cage. No. Disaster? No. Explode? No. Family. Explode like family. What about tragedy? Yeah, she likes tragedy. Uh, special? She likes special. Yeah, she yeah, likes special. She does. How about scars? Do you like scars? Yeah, yeah. she likes scars. Uh, I think she likes bed. She likes she likes bed. Bed. Of course, she likes bed. Grief. Does she like grief? I don't think so, let's see. No. Oh, gosh, I think she likes hope. Yeah, she likes hope. Oh, about horror? Probably not, I'll be up. Go. Whoa. Okay, uh, I've got it now. You got it? Okay, help me out. Passion. Passion. When it is. Uh, fireflies? Mm, yes. What about pain? Yes. Unstable? No. Crimson? No. Childhood? Childhood, yeah. Bliss. Suicide? No, rainbow. Rainbow. Rain cloud? Together. What the fuck is that? Lazy? Should yep. She like lazy. She like papa. No. Dark?
dark, yeah. Peace? Hmm. Friends? Yep, she likes friends. Her? No. Promise? Yes. We did it. We did it. Alright, so let's just skip through this. Alright, first CG. And now we want to show Sayori first. Let's see if Sayori says anything different though. Definitely the most comfortable sound of Sayori first. She's my good friend after all. And we'll give it to her, see what she likes. Oh my goodness, this is so good, Akio. I think we have already seen this though. Yeah. And uh, then we'll show her, I guess we'll just go down the list on it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really matter, we don't really care. We're just trying to get CGs now. Actually, you know, since we're doing all this, and we might as well just like cut the video, I say. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. No, so it's not going to be very exciting to watch, is it? No. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut it off here, and we'll uh, go back soon as we get something new. So here we go. Hello. When we're back, um, we just thought we'd quickly pick off right here where um, we're currently in the middle. We just finished doing Sayori's one. We're now in the middle of doing Natsuki. And we're about to pick for the first time. We side with her instead of asking Sarah to help us. So let's see what happens. Um, Yuri, you're really talented. Uh, uh, well, well, but Natsuki has a point. I think that I rack my brain in an attempt to back myself up. I think that conveying feelings with a few words can be just as impressive, as, uh, just as impressive as well. It lets the reader's imagination take over. <clears throat> and that's his poem did a really good job at that. Yeah! I did! It did, didn't it? Ha! <laughs> Shows how much you know. That's not. Natsuki. I think that's enough. Huh? Me? But she was so mean to me. Natsuki's voice whines. Look, what we talked about yesterday was right. Writing is a really personal thing. And sharing it can, be defi can, can definitely be hard. It looks like we learned that today. Even small criticism can lead to something pretty heated. I glance over my shoulder. Sarah is nodding vigorously. Yeah, so... You don't need to feel threatened. You're a great writer, Natsuki. Ah! Natsuki's voice gets caught in surprise. Thanks for noticing. She finally mutters that. Barely audible. Yuri? Huh? Yuri looks at me dejectedly. Don't cut yourself, please. With a face like that, I can't help but feel bad for her as well. I'm sure that Natsuki didn't mean everything she said, so you don't need to feel threatened either. Well, if you say so. Hey! It's not like you need to apologise for me, Akio. Sheesh. Natsuki takes a breath. I... The thing about... Oh. Natsuki glances around the room. Would everyone stop staring at me? Unsurprisingly, Natsuki has a harder time with it than she boasted. Sayori and Monica look away. Hmm. <laughs> anyway. The thing about your boobs, I didn't mean it, okay? That's all. Natsuki looks away, avoiding eye contact with anyone. Yeah, you're naturally beautiful, Yuri. Sayori? Uh, uh, I'll go make some tea. Eh? I was just trying to help. I'm sure she appreciated it, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. Well, now that, now that we're past that, everyone's read each other's poems, right? I hope that it was worthwhile for everyone, especially, especially you, Akio. And to be honest, it's a nice change from for, of pace from the lazing around we got a little too used to. <laughs> ah, so my joining the club was responsible for ruining the atmosphere. No, no, no. There's still time before we go home, so we'll all relax for a bit. Of course, besides chatting, we do literature-related things in the club room, so maybe you can take the chance to pick up a book or do some writing. After all, that's what clubs the club is for. I disagree, Monica. Yeah? About what? 
that's not the most important thing about the literature club. The most important thing is having fun. Ha <laughs> of course. Well, I guess that's why you're the vice president, Sayori. <laughs> in the end though, Monica's right. Being in the literature club probably means I can't spend all my time doing nothing. But in the end, I guess it's been worth it so far. Okay everyone, it's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing your poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright, well mostly. Akia, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. I can't tell if this is new or not, or if we've read it before. No, that's what I was wondering. So I don't because I don't want to I don't want to continue this if we've already done it in the previous video. Awesome, in that case we'll do the same thing tomorrow. I think it is just gonna be the same. So what we do is we're gonna pause it again and just fast forward. So and we go. And we just found something new, we think. So we're gonna get, like jump back, we keep jumping back. It might not be, but we we don't neither of us recognise it. So. Yeah, so we're gonna read up here. So you think I'm too short or something? I mean I know it. Well, you know what? Just watch me. Natsuki hops onto the stool, which ends up being a little wobbly because of its collapsible design. Ah, ah, careful. I know what I'm doing. Standing on the stool, Natsuki's fingertips reach the top shelf. The stool would be enough for me to easily grab the books, but Natsuki is being stubborn as usual. Uh-uh. Natsuki uses her fingers to scoop one of the smaller boxes to the edge of the shelf. See? Kya! The box suddenly tips. Natsuki barely catches it before it falls to the floor. The stool wobbles. What? Well, well. Losing balance, Natsuki hops off the stool. Thankfully, she was able to stay on her feet. She holds the box triumphantly. Th there! Having almost felt when Natsuki is a bit shaken up. Jeez, you need to prove yourself to me. There's no way you'll be able to get to bigger boxes like that. I can reach them, so just... I said I can do it! I don't want your help, okay? <sighs> I'm going to get a chair, so just hang on. Natsuki forces her way past me out of the closet. Let's see. The classroom chairs have the desks attached, so they're too inconvenient to fit into the closet. Aha! Natsuki trots over to the teacher's desk, which has a computer chair behind it. She rolls it on its wheels back over to the closet. Ah! It has wheels. That doesn't sound good. It's a little dangerous since the chair swivels and rolls. But I've already learned my lesson, so I keep my mouth shut. Oosh. Natsuki climbs onto the chair and slowly bounces onto her feet. Since she refuses my help, I take a seat with my back against the side of the doorway and simply watch. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> go away. <coughs> Bloody lamb. Aha, there we go. See, I can easily do it now. This is a new CG, isn't it? Yeah. Is this the first or second? Um, I think it's the first CG so far, isn't it, for her? I think so. That's one of the ones that was greyed out, weren't it? Yeah. See, I can easily do it now. <sighs> Natsuki grabs a stack of manga, bends down to put it on the shelf below. What? What? The chair swivels. Natsuki catches her breath on the herself on the shelf. What are you doing? Can you at least hold the chair steady instead of sitting and doing nothing? Who was it who told me not to help? Yeah, yeah, I've got you. I hold the chair while Natsuki reaches back up. But I can I can almost see up her skirt. Of course. Gah. I force myself to turn away. Natsuki seriously didn't think this through. Once he realizes I'll be dead. Huh. Natsuki wraps her arms around the parfait girl's box set easily. The largest one on the shelf. Ugh, heavy. Hey, Akio. I don't think I could bend down without falling. Hurry and take this one. Eh? But then I have to let go of the chair. That's fine. Just for a second. Hurry up. All right. Let me just stand up. I slowly release my grip, grip from the chair. What do you mean stand up? Natsuki looks down at me. Why are you all the way back? Uh, eh? I don't like it when the music stops. Natsuki looks like she just realized something, but she'll lose her balance if she moves. Natsuki, the box. What are you looking at? Uh, you're trying to look at my... my... Natsuki's leg shake. Uh, I'm not! I was just... Natsuki, don't try to move! Just give me the box! You perv! You set me up! Go away! Get out! But... I'll do it myself! Uh, ah! The chair suddenly swivels beneath Natsuki's feet. Natsuki! Yeah! The scene turns to chaos in a split second. The chair flies from under Natsuki's feet. 
frantically, I tried to catch her. The box topples out of her... <coughs> the box topples out of her hands and the books go flying. I got you! Oh shit. Crash. The full force of Natsuki's body against me throws me to the ground. A whole bunch of books pelt me in the face. Natsuki tries to shield herself with her own arms as her face lands straight on my chest. Ugh. My right arm and my back seriously felt the impact. Ugh. Slowly Natsuki comes to her senses. G she presses her arm straight into me to prop herself. Up. Eh? Natsuki seems to realise that that's not the floor that's beneath her. G -g -g Gross! Gross! Gah! A fist pounds into my chest. Natsuki then hoists herself up to her feet. What were you thinking? You sicko! Everything okay over here? I heard a loud noise. Monica suddenly peers in. Monica, see what happens when you put the manga on the top shelf? Are you trying to kill your club members or something? Jeez. I said, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. It seems like your most recent club member is a total pervert. So I hope you're happy. I didn't. Somehow it's impossible for me to explain this whole bizarre situation to Monica. I didn't do anything, I swear. I know, I know, don't worry. Monica says that quietly to me. Looks like I'm off the hook. Oh no. My, my, eh? I look down. Natsuki is kneeling on the floor, holding one of the books that are scattered all over. There's a large di diagonal crease along the page that she's desperately trying to smooth out. Ah, it must have landed on the page. Natsuki tries to, tries a bit more to fix the crease, but she can't get it out. Suddenly, she gives up and slams the book shut, then throws it to the floor. Instead of continuing to yell, she just lowers her head. Are you seriously crying? Over a bent book? Hello. Her page is bent. Natsuki, are you? No! Natsuki's voice squeaks. I see tears on her face. Ah. I'll help get the crease out, okay? It's partially my fault, so... Natsuki shakes her head, still looking down. No. I don't even care that much. I'm just having a really bad day today. Natsuki sobs again. I didn't mean to take it out on you. I really didn't mean to. It's it's fine. Is there anything you want to talk about? Natsuki shakes her head. Just every day is so hard. Oh my god, man. This, this game is really... Really real. I just want to come to the club and... Natsuki falls silent again. I can't press her, so I I can only do what I know how to to do. All right. Well, I'll help clean this up, and I'll move the rest of your manga for you. Ah, I pick up volume two of Parfait Girls. We'll set this one aside. This will help cheer you up a bit, right? We can get started on it once I'm done here. Natsuki looks up with her glossy eyes. Her lips quivers. You're you're really nice to me. Huh? That sounds really strange coming from Natsuki. I didn't expect it at all. Well, I'm just treating you like a friend, you know? Mm. Natsuki lowers her head and stiffles another sob. I'm not sure what happened to her today, but being nice is the least I could do. The next couple minutes are silent between us as I begin gathering the scattered books. I make sure to slip them into the box in their correct order. After a little bit, Natsuki starts helping. It isn't long before we're done, and I hoist a box onto the shelf where Natsuki wa wanted to put it. Then I get on the stall and quickly finish moving the other, uh, the, the rest of her books from the top shelf. All right, that should do it. I hop off the stall. Natsuki averts her gaze. Thanks. Ha <laughs> ha. It's nothing. Natsuki is holding the volume I set aside in her hands. All right, I'm ready. Good. Even if you weren't, I'd make you anyway. You're taking responsibility for what you said. The thing about cheering me up. If you insist. We sit in the same spot as last time and I open the second volume. Natsuki's mood quickly improves, laughing and pointing things out to me. She's surprisingly sharp, making note of a lot of subtle, repeated jokes and background elements. In the end, I'm pretty impressed by how everything ties together in this manga. I guess Natsuki has good taste after all. After some time, Monica gets her attention as usual and it's time to share poems again. Guess I'll be holding on to this for now. Yep. Even you sound more enthusiastic this time. Well, I'm starting to get into it, you know? Hehehe, <laughs> told you. Yeah, yeah. I return to my seat and slip the book into my bag. Okay, 
So this is one of the things that annoy me though, because we're currently skipping through this to get through everyone and get all their CGs so we can like get back to that fucked up stuff. But it because we had to basically wipe the game to a completely new slate as if we've never played it before. It doesn't remember what we've seen, so we yeah. could be accidentally missing shit, like what we almost did with that one. Like that was a completely new scene that we haven't seen. That's kind of annoying. But anyway, we'll want to talk to Natsuki first. I guess this might be different, let's see. Natsuki reads my poem, she keeps glancing at me, then back at the poem. By now she must have read it more than once, this sounds familiar. Uh, hmm. Is it that bad? No, no, it's not. It's good. It's really good, okay? There, I said it. Uh, this wasn't supposed to happen at all. Why can't you just be bad at this? This sounds familiar. This sounds familiar, yeah. I'm gonna skip. Wait, red face, Nancy quickly walks out of the room. I don't, I don't remember that bit. You're trying to impress me? Yeah, I don't think she said that, did no, she? See, we're accidentally skipping some stuff. Red face, you walked out of the room. Hey, Akio, did you do something to Natsuki? I just saw her rush out like that. You didn't do anything terrible, did you? N no. I just told her that my voice gets caught in my throat. There's no way I could tell Monica that I'm trying to impress Nats Natsuki. Hmm? Monica sees the poem lying on the floor and swiftly picks it up. She reads through it, her smile not fading from her face. I see. You wrote this for Natsuki, didn't you? Uh, I mean, not really. In fact, didn't she like your poem a lot the other day too? I'm surprised you know her taste so well already. Are you sure you're not cheating, Akio? Cheating? What do you mean by that? Never mind, I'm just kidding, ha ha ha. I didn't understand Monica's joke at all. Is she talking about us? Anyway. How do you think Natsuki feels about you? Oh, you don't need to answer that. It was just something for you to think about. Hey! Natsuki comes up and snatches the pearl out of Monica's hands. Neither of us had noticed her ran at the classroom. Did you read this, Monica? Of course, I liked it. Ugh. You should really stop reading things that aren't for you, you know. You have a bad habit of doing that. Eh? But Akio wrote this poem, and we're supposed to share it with everyone, right? Ugh. Natsuki freezes. She apparently forgot that my poem is technically for everyone to read. Okay, well, I think Akio is done sharing this poem with everyone. It's not like anyone would want to read this anyway. In fact, I'm just going to hold on to this. If you insist. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Ugh. Never mind. Ah. Natsuki. I'll give you the poem, but that's still not very fair to Sayori. She hasn't got to read it yet. So what? Well, I guess Akio is right, Natsuki. It's not fair if you don't let everyone finish reading it. Ugh. Fine. Natsuki returns my poem. It's not like she's going to like it, though. Anyway, read my poem now. And no, I won't let you keep her. This is my only copy. <laughs> Okay, so this, yeah, so this is different, like, when we were doing this before, it was in the fucked up, um, section after Sorrow was dead, and she wouldn't show us that, uh, she wouldn't share a poem with her anymore. Yeah. So we haven't read these ones, and these are all new. So Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favourite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I try not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if she doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. Weird. What the fuck was that for a poem? Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was, too sh was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway. The message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. And it helps people realise how stupid they're being. Like, anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? Of 
course. It's a, it's about how everyone thinks mine. That doesn't matter. It can be about anything. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people will find out. They'd make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what, what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Well, you're definitely right. At least I can relate to that. And I'm sure a lot of other people can too. You know? I'm glad that you can appreciate this kind of writing. I mean, I know I was talking about that yesterday. But I've been, well, I've been enjoying sharing my writing with you, so... So give yourself lucky, okay? <laughs> well, thanks for being honest. What's that supposed to mean? I'm always honest. Jeez. Just look forward to tomorrow too, okay? Alright, I will. Okay. And I guess... Like, let's see what they say. Do they say anything different than... Oh, I like this one, Akio. It has some nice feelings in it. Oh, I'm glad. Does that mean it's better than yesterday's? Mm, let me think. I don't know. I guess I like them both. Hee <laughs> hee. That's not very helpful, you know. Well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. But that's why I just go... I go by my heart. If it makes me feel things, that, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, yeah. I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. Ugh. Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Oh, uh, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Eh? Well... I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. Well, I like happy the most. I think this is new as well. But sometimes when you have a little rain clown in your head, a sad poem can help give the rain clown a little hug and make a nice happy rainbow. Sorry, that's unexpectedly poetic. Eh? It is? Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Akio. I should go write that down then. You can write my poem now, okay? Bottles. Is, uh, did we read? I think we read this bottle one before. Right? No, did we? I, I remember like my friends were in bottles or something. I don't know. It does kind of sound kind of familiar. I think we have read this before. Yeah, I think we have. Holy crap. Sorry, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poems ever? Yeah, but I mean, I didn't expect something this coming up from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aw, oh, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah. Writing's the best. I'm going to keep writing till I die. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Sarah's always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more, no more than a week later. I wonder if this one's one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Finally, I like how Monica is in there. Because uh, she already saw it with uh, Natsuki's one. Yuri, she's not gonna like her. Um, are you still mad at me? Eh? For disrespecting Natsuki yesterday. Because reading this poem, now I know why you got mad at me. Because you, you prefer her writing over mine. That's not really true. Meaning when I disrespected her, I disrespected you too, didn't I? Oh no. Yuri, you might be reading into this a little too much. How could I be so stupid? I always let these things happen. 
Whenever I think before I speak, I just come off as awkward and unlikable. But if I speak without thinking, the things I want to keep inside come out and make people hate me. So please don't force yourself to be around me. I know this is what Monica wants, but it's not fair to you when you could be enjoying your time with Natsuki and Sayori. Yuri, please. <coughs> it makes it easier for me if you don't express any concern. Besides, I have my books with me. That's all I need. Yuri smiles at me and puts her head down into her, onto her desk. I'm frustrated. I don't hate her, but it's as if she's not capable of listening to me over her own thoughts. I sigh to myself. All I can do is accept that that's how she is. If she wants to be left alone, then I have no choice but to abide to that request. So she doesn't give herself her poem. Everyone all done with research right? I've planned out. I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come set the front room. Okay, well, since we're fucking like over half an hour in, we're gonna stop it here. And we'll continue uh, the next one. Uh, next time. So thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.